To American football, South Dakota is coming off a week one beat down to Mizzou. The Coyotes hoped for a different outcome Saturday against St. Thomas. The Dakota Dome was ready for its first action of the fall. In Bowman with the fake handoff to Trevor Tice, who he rolls out and lobs it over the defender's head to Jack Martins, who tumbles in the end zone. This time, no fake is needed. Tice takes the pitch, barrels his way through the defense, picks up about 15 yards on the play. The Coyotes would go on to score. You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nate Thomas with the carry, he finds the end zone. The Yotes send the crowd home happy. They defeat St. Thomas 24-0. We challenged our guys a little bit at halftime, uh, challenged our up-front guys uh, that, um, you know, we needed to be able to run the ball better. I thought we did on that first drive. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just a consistency thing right now. You know, we, we can't, you know, we have too many um, no-yard plays, and, and when you run the football, it's got to be, a, you know, a three- or four-yard play uh, all the time. I think Aiden played okay today. You know, we missed a few throws uh, that could have kept some drives alive. Um, but, uh, you know, we got some stuff to build on for sure. Um, and I thought we were better than we were last week. And that's what you want to see every week. To the scoreboard, the NFL season is officially back. The Chiefs and Lions did play Thursday, but there were 14 games on the docket today. The Broncos wrapped up play about 30 minutes ago against the Raiders. They fell 17 to 16. The Vikings also lost at home to Tampa Bay 20 to 17. Kirk Cousins threw for 344 yards in the loss. The Browns hosted the Bengals, a big rivalry game in the state of Ohio, Cincinnati, though. Very disappointing just days after Joe Burrow signed a contract, making him the highest paid player in the NFL. Browns won 24 to 3. And in Pittsburgh, Brock Purdy continuing right where he left off last year. He led the 49ers past the Steelers 30 to 7. Pretty interesting week of sports. <laughs> yeah, when football season is going on, it's quite the day for football fans. You can sit on the couch Saturday and Sunday, watch college football on Saturday and the NFL on Sunday. So good, good, uh, good start to the season for NFL fans. I feel like it's pretty nice, too, because this weather is like you can either be outside and you're not in the scorching hot and then you can be inside where you can be warm. Yeah, Ryan was talking about just minutes ago, sitting on the couch, looking outside with a cup of coffee. That'd be me, except football would be on the TV, too. Yeah, well, thank you, Andrew. We'll see you after the break.